Yo, what is up guys? It's Merc and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys all are having a good day as always. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how to gift yourself every skin and item for free in Fortnite. All you guys are going to need is a computer in order to do this. I highly recommend you guys do this at your own risk. There is a good chance that you might get banned for doing this. So please be careful when you guys do this. Do not do anything stupid. And if you do, just use a different account or something. Don't be stupid. Um, but before we get into the video, I want to give a shout out to my boy Mo Danny for letting me make a video on this. Make sure you guys go check him out and use code Danny in the item shop. I will put his channel down in the description below. Also, we have a V-Buck giveaway going down on the channel for 2,000 V-Bucks. All you guys have to do to enter is leave a like on this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and make sure you guys comment down your gamer tag down in the comment section below. So if you guys are a winner, we will be sure to hook you guys up with some V-Bucks. But with further ado, let's go ahead and get right into this video. So as you guys can see here, we have all these skins in the item shop. We have literally every skin known to man and uh, this glitch is fairly easy to do. Um, I believe you're only going to be able to access these skins on your computer, maybe even on your console as well if you log into your account on the console. And uh, basically, it is a super easy tutorial on how you guys can do this. Um, all you guys are going to have to do is head over to your computer. And when you guys are at your computer, you then are going to want to download these things. So I'll put the download links to these things in the description so you guys can do it or, or be able to hook it up. But basically, one of these folders is going to be called free items. And whenever you click it, you then are going to want to go to your settings on your computer and turn off the proxy. Make sure you guys turn off the proxy setup on your guys' computer. Uh, I don't know how to do it on a Mac computer or an Apple computer, but on the Windows, you just click on your settings and you can do that fairly easy after you guys do that you then are going to want to open up the free items uh, folder and then you will be able to see a folder called console now once you guys go to that console folder you then are going to want to click main batch and that's you're going to want to open that up that's going to open up a command prompt and from there you then are going to want to go back and click on the one two three notepad you're going to want to copy the link https console.jrn and you're going to want to go to your web browser once you guys get to your web browser you then are going to want to type that in and it might give you a thing saying that the site is not secure or whatever make sure you guys just click through it whatever it'll just override it and then after that you guys want to open up your command prompt make sure that the command prompt is on that same screen and you guys will see here in a little bit after waiting uh it'll pretty much put all the skins into the game and you'll just see like the command prompt get loaded with like a bunch of code and a bunch of stuff and you guys will see like it'll say like fortnite uh, a bunch of different items a bunch of different skins and basically what it's doing right there is importing all the skins into your game it's pretty crazy just like i don't know it's, it's it's crazy how easy this is to set up but after that once it sets up all the skins i believe you then are going to want to go ahead you can actually change your gamer tag and stuff here as well um but once you guys are done doing that you then are going to want to go ahead and go to you then are going to want to go to your files epic games vault catch and then you're going to want to go to fortnite fortnite game binaries win 64 you're going to want to scroll all the way down and you guys will see the fortnite launcher there and uh, once you guys find the Fortnite launcher, you then are going to want to switch it out, I believe, with the other one. Or it's, it pretty much looks like the other one. You're going to want to copy the old one or the uh, the new one. And you're going to want to replace the old Fortnite launcher in your files. And basically, that's just going to be replacing the old Fortnite launcher. And you will know it's different because it will have the purple logo instead of the blue one. After you're done that, you then are going to want to open up Epic Games or the, uh, load up the Epic Games launcher. You're going to want to go to settings and then go to Fortnite. And it'll say additional command line arguments and you want to make sure that's checked everything is checked and then you'll see a nose playing and then you're going to want to go to the, your notepad and you will see the same thing there as well and then from there you're going to want to go over to library you'll see four nights there as well you're going to want to click on the fiddler four once you guys click on the fiddler floor you're going to want to click no on the pop-up and you guys will see this fiddler floor is like a complicated looking website uh, it looks kind of weird, you know, a lot of stuff going on. So please bear with me and please follow what we are doing uh, just so you guys do not get confused or don't get lost in anything. You're going to want to go to options and then you're going to want to go to HTTPS and then it'll say capture HTTPS connects, decrypt HTTPS uh, traffics, all that good stuff. You're going to click OK. Uh, enable you're gonna want to check mark enable rules and then you're gonna want to minimize that real quick and then you're going to want to launch Fortnite once you guys launch Fortnite you guys will see that there will be the two screens of Fortnite the little logo and then we got the other one in the back as well and uh, Fortnite's still loading up right here for us so let's see what happens next excuse me and basically you guys are just gonna want to make it big just like anything you know just like you're gonna play Fortnite as usual and then eventually you will see that the launcher will be a little bit different 
than the actual Fortnite. Uh, it's gonna load a couple times. I believe you're gonna have to go through like two menu screens in order to get to the beginning, but you will see that Epic Games uh, has rewarded you with all the items and you will get basically every item that's been in the game, all the back blings, everything that's like literally came into the game. You'll have all the skins and literally like anything in the game you want. But like I said, be careful when you guys do this. Um, you know just be aware that there is a possibility that you could get banned for doing this so just be careful make sure you guys you know this is really what you want to do before you go and do it but if this video did help you guys if you guys could help me out with a like i would appreciate that and if you guys would like to see more videos like these please feel free to subscribe overall hope you guys have a good rest of your day i've been merc and we'll see you guys later